This is an astrolabe. Basically, astrolabes are a highly complex astronomical system that is made up of multiple moving parts and symbols and was typically used by Middle Age astronomers to measure the elevation of specific objects in the sky. How an astrolabe makes these observations is a combination of two systems. One is a mechanical model of the sky's rotations, so it shows how the sun would rise and set, and simple sights that help line up the eye with a specific object above the horizon. So, to put an astrolabe into perspective, let's say that you're a middle-aged astronomer and you have your eye on a specific star and you want to find the elevation of this star, well, how would you exactly go about doing that? Astrolabes are designed for problems like these. The system is designed to find the elevation of certain objects above the horizon using two distinctive sides that perform different jobs. Both these sides also have multiple moving parts. One side is called the mother front. The mother front is made up of three distinct parts. The climate, which makes up the majority of the system, the Roman alphabet, which represents the hours within a day, and the rule, which rotates around to configure the mother front at specific times. The other side is called the mother back. Most of the circles on the mother back form a calendar, and similar to the rule on the mother front has an alidade, which rotates around and contains two sites. These two sites help line up the eye to specific objects in the sky. The mother front and the mother back play very distinctive roles to create a well-functioning astrolabe. They both perform specific tasks and overall, create a system that can simultaneously measure or predict the positions of celestial objects. Now, here's where the questions come in. If I'm an astronomer, why can't I utilize a simpler system such as a telescope instead of bothering with a highly complex system such as an astrolabe? Well, astrolabes were used for nearly 2,000 years, and they did their job pretty well. Telescopes only came into general use once astronomers felt like they needed more precise tools in order to find specific objects in the sky. So, astrolabes first began in Greece, and it was a combination of two existing instruments into one functioning system. The first of these instruments, called the Dioptra, and the second one, called the Plane Sphere Projection. The first of these systems, the Dioptra, was an instrument used for setting the altitudes of specific celestial bodies. The second instrument used was a planisphere projection, which represented the celestial sphere on a flat surface. The combination of these two systems created an astrolabe, which could simultaneously measure or predict the positions of celestial objects and acted almost like a celestial calendar. Astrolabes were not only popular in Greece, but held a huge influence in multiple areas of the world. This is why astrolabes are historically built in many diverse designs. More noticeably, astrolabes affected Byzantine, Islamic, and Persian worlds over many centuries, and they evolved variously along the way.
The result of this spread was many unique versions of an astrolabe that were developed to fit the geographic location where it was being used. This was because different stars are visible from different places. So it's pretty clear that astrolabes had solidified their place within astronomy observation practices for many, many centuries. And the result of this was a widespread of variations that could be used in multiple areas of the world. So once you put all this information together, you now have this astronomical system that A represents the sky's rotation on a flat surface and B utilizes simple sights in order to make calculations on the elevation of specific objects. So now you have this system that is able to identify and observe specific objects in the sky, can tell the time, and can predict when objects will rise and set in many geographical locations. Now, as a Middle Ages astronomer, you are able to find the elevation of that specific star you had your eye on, among other objects in the sky, by using one of the many variations of astrolabes available.